Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is Tarantino's fun, haunting homage to the summer of 69. Editors note the opinions in this article are the authors, as published by our content partner, and do not represent the views of MSN or Microsoft. Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Margot Robbie lead this star-studded film about a fading era. Name a movie once upon a time in Hollywood and you're tipping your hand from the start. Quentin Tarantino Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a historical drama, sort of. Tarantino has, and, of course, I am not going to tell you what happens not because of Tarantino's request, but because I am a professional movie critic. But you don't need to, Tarantino, famously obsessed with the history of cinema and its preservation, has recreated a world he wishes he could have worked in with such care and skill and love that, for the most part, it feels like his most personal film. Once Upon a Time This July, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt starred together in Quentin Tarantino's. I should start by confessing that I usually find myself put off by Tarantino's films. He is clearly one, I say all that because it sets up my own reaction to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. On the whole, I, two main stories run on parallel tracks in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. One concerns Sh Gallery Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, how the stars compare to real-life characters the rap. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a wistful story about the past that's obviously meant to speak to the present, both eras of a fiercely changing industry. There are nuggets scat, but on its surface, this is a movie that walks and talks and acts like it's 1969, and it's obvious that Tarantino simply loves that time in cinema. There's a glow over Hollywood. 1969. That's clear right down to the way he shoots his two main leads, Pitt and DiCaprio, who feel almost Redford and Newman esque in the way they swagger and talk and flash a grin. It's also strange, Tarantino received some heat at the Cannes Film Festival for his unnecessarily combative response to a journalist's question at a press conference, in which he vehemently told a New York Times reporter who asked about Robbie's relatively small number of lines in the film that he rejected her hypothesis. But as the actress, I can't quite explain this part without giving anything away, so you'll just have to trust me the way Once Upon a Time in Hollywood unwinds its story makes it clear that it's more of a lament you a requiem for a past age, one that he deeply wishes didn't have to pass away. Popular culture has continued to try to make sense of the event, which takes on mythic proportions. Movies from 9 Tarantino is nostalgic for that time, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is more his tribute than an unpacking or analysis of what it all means unlike, for instance, the Coon Brothers 2016 film Hail, Caesar, which has something to say about warring ideologies in the industry at the same time. By the end of the film, Tarantino falls back into some of his familiar tropes. It's as though he just, once upon a time in Hollywood, premiered at the Cannes Film Festival in May. It opens in US, MSN UK are empowering happiness for Mental Health Awareness Month. Find out more of-